I grew up in rural Oklahoma. Coweta, Oklahoma is where I call home, and I live there now with my family. Beautiful, peaceful home. Rural Oklahoma has much to offer, but Dr. Casey Shrum, the president of the Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences in Tulsa, knows there's a big problem in rural Oklahoma. The majority of the counties in Oklahoma are considered health profession shortage areas by the federal government. So what we're seeing in rural Oklahoma is that people are not as healthy, we're not living as long, the cost of health care is higher there because we don't have access to preventative health care. With the physician shortage in rural areas, not just Oklahoma, but across the country, you're, you're starting to feel the pinch. Dr. Douglas Nolan is a rural physician for the Cherokee Nation in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. We often forget the uh, burden on the patient. It takes their time. They have to take off work. It takes their gas, so it takes money. When you talk about some of the patients whose maybe their funds are limited, that's difficult. Our mission at the OSU Center for Health Sciences is to provide primary care physicians for rural and underserved Oklahoma. We really believe in our pipeline programs of finding the right students and being mindful of the way we train them and training them in rural Oklahoma where we want them to practice and stay. I'm so pleased with OSU's uh, uh, mission of populating rural Oklahoma with physicians that come from rural Oklahoma 90% of the residents who are graduating from those rural residency programs are staying in the state of Oklahoma. 80% are staying in rural Oklahoma. But it's still a constant struggle to keep primary care physicians populated all around the 14 counties. Project ECHO is a, a new way of uh, basically providing specialty care. ECHO stands for Extension Community Health Outreach. And so it is a powerful, a uh, tool that can be utilized by the university to push medical knowledge out to rural communities. A lot of times what we need as primary care is we need a curbside consult. We need a backup. Using advanced communication technology, OSU's ECHO, which originated at the University of New Mexico, is enhancing the medical education of healthcare providers in the rural areas, connecting them with specialists in the urban areas. We actually have a greet and eat over a lunch hour where doctors in a local community can meet with a specialty team. Hi, Dr. Nolan, thank you for joining us today. Uh, today we're gonna start talking, starting with our doctor. I can participate anywhere I am, you, you know, with today's technology, with cell phones, through the computers, through the laptop. ECHO addresses the physician shortage by making specialty medical knowledge from the urban academic centers more easily available to primary care doctors in rural areas. Community health care providers learn from the specialists, essentially flipping the access to care model by moving medical knowledge to the rural doctors, not patients to the urban doctors. They provide a lecture once a week, so what it actually does is it gives me education on various subjects brings me up to date. We start out with the academic center actually being the hub. We have all of our specialists on team with us as physicians of Oklahoma State University. We can treat a lot of the patients in the rural area just by sharing the knowledge that OSU is providing. We identified five major areas to get started. Mental health, addiction, HIV and hepatitis C, obesity within children, and pregnancy care. Project ECHO is a way really to help support physicians who are already practicing in those communities and give them all the knowledge and skills that they need without requiring them to leave. Oklahoma State's filling a void here for the state of Oklahoma that it is going to be a tremendous boom for the rural areas. Providing primary care physicians and increasing access will improve the health and vitality of our communities in our state. I grew up in rural Oklahoma. My values and my upbringing were there. I embrace that lifestyle and I truly want my family and future generations to be able to enjoy rural Oklahoma and agriculture.